Hey, first morning at Grandview Hotel in Jerusalem. Last night we flew into Israel to the city of Tel Aviv. Then we took a bus from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. So today's video is about our first day in Jerusalem town. morning in Jerusalem look at the breakfast area doesn't it look awesome look at the flowers oh my goodness look at that it's like they'll have everything from A to Z here to eat beautiful 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 look at that fruit tray down there the tree and the flowers it's beautiful stairs the building all the look at all the rounded windows they're not square they have extra touch to them they're rounded arched windows now up here is another dining room up top here and here comes my beautiful husband he found some coffee this morning awesome awesome good morning honey good morning good morning hey, it's a great day in Jerusalem a lifetime dream coming true Good morning, y'all. This is our first day in Jerusalem, in Israel trip here. So I'm gonna show you this morning what we're gonna be eating for our breakfast. You know, in America, we have much coffee, but in Israel, they don't specialize that much in coffee. But I'm gonna just show you uh, a video of what we're gonna be eating. We're gonna take a tour of this town today. And we'll keep you updated, we'll take you with us but you'll, you'll see a lot of this food that we're having, uh, the different foods, and you'll find out that uh, with me being uh, uh, in Ohio, that we have these beautiful foods that I'm not gonna be able to control myself with because of all the people and the food and telling my wife this morning that you know we're actually thinking about walking the streets of of Jerusalem of where Jesus walked and, and, and the and the tourist attraction this place is and the wonderful place and the wonderful group we're with. So we're just very happy. I'm gonna take you on a quick tour here of the food and then uh, I'll take you along on our trip today. So I hope you enjoy it.
Our very first stop today was to see a replica or a model of the old Jerusalem and the tabernacle so that people touring today can see how the city looked all those years ago, including how the city was built and the tabernacle. It was very interesting for our group to have a good tour guide to show us about the city of Jerusalem built on a mountain with uh, the Kidron Valley running along the east side and only being attacked from the northern side because of the walls.
what you see here is a wall around Jerusalem. And that wall that you see that is built on top of the stone was built 500 years ago. And that they're trying to increase the height of that wall. And imagine that city being attacked by King David. And even that is the city that Hezekiah's tunnel was built through. So if you can imagine the, the stone and the rock and the time that was spent and money to build this wall and to keep the people safe inside, it is just unimaginable. And as you look at this wall, as we're driving by here, it's not a very good view of it, but that opening you see there is, I believe, called the Herod's Gate. And that whole city, people going in and out of there, we went into that gate and there's a huge city as people know it today. It was very wonderful and a great experience to see all the people and how those gates and city walls were built. When our tour guide explained these walls to us and how the enemy territories around Jerusalem would try to enter this city and actually somehow get it done, it was just amazing to see the time and effort they put into this and how desperate the enemies try to get inside this city. According to the information we gathered from our tour guide that's speaking here is this uh, little hillside behind him was officially, he thought, the place where King David lived at one time. And where this house was situated, he could have been overlooking the Kidron Valley way down below him. Very interesting story. This may very well have been David's view from his house in Jerusalem. I also noticed how steep the hillside was and the houses built in steep angles, how it may have been easy for David to see Bathsheba. Yes, it's that too. It, it's probably not as hot as it's been. I heard it was it was pretty hot. Look at them floors. The deal. 
Here we are walking the streets of Jerusalem, headed toward Hezekiah's tunnel. Hezekiah's tunnel is probably my favorite story in the Bible, and I'm really happy to bring that to you on our next video. So keep watching for that. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you very much. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.